In this video, we will talk about how the data is stored in ServiceNow, Table Schema Map, the Table Relationship, and Database Views. Here we have logged in into ServiceNow instance as System Administrator. Please note, the ServiceNow instance used in this video is on Rome release and the options available to you may differ from those shown in this video, depending on your roles, ServiceNow release version, and how your system is configured. ServiceNow stores data in the form of database structure and it has components like tables, records and fields. Table is a top of the hierarchy which stores records. And these records have fields which store information about the particular record. Schema map is a visual representation of details of tables and its relationship to other tables. It helps administrators and developers to view and easily manage different components of the table. Let's navigate to Schema Map in ServiceNow, type tables and columns in the navigation panel. Here, you can see the list of all the tables configured in the ServiceNow system. And to view the Schema Map of the Incident Table, we will select the Incident Table and click on this Schema Map button. This will open the Schema Map in another tab. This map shows different configurations, like the Reference Tables, Referencing Tables, Extended Tables, and Extending Tables. Let's move on to the next topic, which is table relationship. Many-to-many -many relationships allow a list to point to a list of entries rather than to a single field. For example, a knowledge base article can point to a list of related configuration items. It uses a related list, however, not all lists can be used as a related list. For a list to be related to another list, we need to create a many-to-many -many definition in that table called as sys underscore m to m. Let's open this table and see the records. Here you can see there are a number of records exist in this table. Let's open one of them. We will see how these two tables are related to each other. In this example, a group table is related to a subscription table. Note that this table only stores the custom relationship while default relationships are stored in sys underscore collection table. Moving on to the last topic of this video, database views. A database view feature enables the administrator and the developers to join multiple tables for reporting purpose. For example, a database view can join incident to a task SLA table to produce reports, which contains the fields from both these tables. Let's navigate to the database view. Here we have navigated to the database view table, where we can see the list of all the database views which are available out of the box. Let's explore the incident SLA table. Click on it and in this view, you can see that there are two tables the tasks underscore SLA and the incident tables are joined to report SLAs by incident categories. Please note that any user who can create a report can use database views as the report source but ACLs on the underlying tables are honored. A database view is not treated like a custom table. So, there is no licensing impact for creation of the database view and also it is not possible to add data within a database view. Thank you.